congressmen and senators, yeah, I made a poop, but a congressman and senators, maybe Mr. Lieberman and Mr. Altmaier, maybe you didn't know this, but we can have a public option that will in fact be both private and public. And as far as and Mr. Altmaier and Mr. Lieberman, as far as worrying about whether the insurance companies lose their job or not, they allowed 400, right now officially, 405,000 Americans to die in the last nine years. So quite frankly, I don't care a rat's potato chip. I'm trying not to swear here. I don't care at all about the insurance companies. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want the employees to lose their jobs. But Congress, Altmaier, Lieberman, get us a health care bill passed now and have some kind of guarantees, whether it's a public option or whether it's private, I don't care. But you make sure that every American has access to health care and make no excuses because we are watching. And America, I'm going to get to this call right now. I promise, and I'm going to keep my promise. Pittsburgh, 1-202-225-3121. 1-225-3121. Senate.gov, House.gov. Caller number, what is it, number four? Number, number Caller number five. You're on the air. Hi. Good How evening to everybody. Who is it? It's me. Me? Hi. Yeah, it's Donna. Oh, me, me. Oh, yeah, okay, hi, me, me. It's Donna Weiss, everybody. We only got 10 minutes, so go for it, for it fast, Donna, please. All right. Sorry I couldn't be there, but hey, you know what? Everybody has one. The government has this health care. They only pay $500 a year. $532 a year. And everybody else has to pay more than that. Right. And they have the best health care than, than anybody. Well, let's be clear on that, Donna. They pay $532 a year, but they never pay a copay. They never have to worry about specialists. They even have house calls directly to their, their office, and they have um, access to as much care as they need, as much medicine as they need, whatever they need, for $532 a year. But they really don't even pay that because we pay for their salary. So I want to clarify that, but thanks for bringing that up. It's not fair. It's not right. No, it's not. Not only is it not fair, Donna, it's unpatriotic. We well, pay their salaries. Did also, you the also, the a lot of the legislators, your senators, are sitting on a board of directors of, of insurance companies and pharmaceutical companies and being paid by them. So that's a <laughs> conflict of interest, is it not? Chris? It isn't. It is. Well, there's something, right there's something we can do. Well, what can we do about it, Chris? I think we can call that number, right? What's that well, number? Well, not only Chris? that, there's a lot of people out there that don't vote. Right. That aren't registered. So what we do is we have to work harder at getting those folks registered. Right. And also exercise their privilege to vote. And remember, folks, an active voter is their boss. So we have the right to fire them. That's right. That's right. Well, we want to go with... And Donna, we will see you later tonight. Did you get a chance to talk about the gas? The no, gas we're price. going to talk about the gasoline as soon as we're done with this next call. All right. Well, you guys have a good night and be careful. You move warm. forward. Hey, Donna, yeah. I don't know if you heard it, but Frank said I sound like a wet cow. Yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> I'll see you later, <laughs> Donna. All right. Hey, at least we did our best. And if nobody don't like it, then they can go get screwed. All, All right. I can say is I'm glad I, I got upgraded from a dead cow to a wet cow. <laughs> Uh -huh. All right, we're going to move forward later. to the next car. That was weird. Uh -huh. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and, and move forward. Um, all right, well, we have about six minutes left, I'm guessing. Now we're going to talk about gasoline. But before we do, um, Pittsburgh, 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 triple w dot Senate dot gov, triple w dot House dot gov, and call Congress because... America cannot afford to lose another 445,000 Americans every 10 years. Oh, and by the way, it's only going to get worse. But let me just throw this at you. Harvard told that, and everything I said, I backed it up with real stuff. Why is it that Channel 2, Channel 11, Channel 4, Channel 13, NPR, NBC, ABC, and every other media outlet 
that you can imagine. Why aren't they putting this out there and letting the American public know? So I'm challenging you, local TV stations in Pittsburgh, get these reports and get the American people behind this health care bill and help us to get it passed. And I'm calling on every single American, every American, call 1-202-225-3121. Because I'm tired of doing health care shows. I want to do some fun shows. And maybe we can ask Kathy why when I tell her to say goodnight, she sounds like she's a Abbott and Costello. I don't know. But before we go with Abbott and Costello over here, okay, before we go with Abbott and Costello, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about gasoline. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, I'm a little bit loud. Gasoline. All right. Now, I want to make this clear. You can also call Congress and tell them you want gasoline prices to go down. You're being robbed at the pump. Oil for barrel of oil, it closed down today at $81.77. Now, when it was $4.09, it was $150 for a barrel of oil, okay? So, last month we did this, it was $70 and some change. When it gets to $75 a barrel of oil, our money at the, our pay, I mean, per gallon at the gas pump should be half of what it was back when oil was a dollar, I mean, 150 a gallon. Therefore, what I'm telling you is right now at 81.77 for a barrel of oil, guess what? You should be paying 207 or less in the Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh area. Around the nation should be even lower than that. So we are being robbed at the gas pump. We are paying at least 40% more than we should. You can do something about it. Go to www.senate.gov, www.house.gov. Oh, and you know what else you could do? You can call 1-202-225-3121. We got five minutes. I would like to um, ask Ed to save that paper for another time. I want to bring something up. We get this health care bill, and, and Ed and myself can start to become wealthy, and everybody on this panel. Now, you might wonder how that is. Well, I only have three minutes. It's simple. Everyone on this panel has a physical or other type of ailment. Most of us are receiving some kind of government help. When you're receiving government help, you're not allowed to make more than $2,000, period. In some cases, you can have savings of up to six to ten thousand dollars. But basically, Ed is one of the best musicians out there. He should be known around the globe. He should be making millions of dollars. But because he has a disability, and because it's a pre-existing condition, he cannot just go out and get health care insurance. And therefore, he is a prisoner because of his health. He is a prisoner to the system, which ultimately costs you more taxes. He's a prisoner, I'm a prisoner. Chris and Annette is, and Kathy's a prisoner. But this particular law, the health care bill, if it passes, it will guarantee we all can go out and get health care from a private insurance company and ultimately no longer have to be on disability. We can go out and get jobs. Chris, I mean, that, Ed could go out there and become a, be the, the next musician on The Tonight Show or whatever, and he'd get his big time. Because this man can play a mean instrument. Oh, thank you. And it's time that I get discovered. It's time that he gets discovered. Yeah. It's time the rest of us get discovered. Mm -hmm. And it's time that you dial that number. So instead of me going blah, 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 blah for the next three minutes, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We got, we'll say two and a half minutes. We're saying please. I want to hear a closing thought by the one and only Kathy Wild Woman Pear. I'm not wild. You're not wild? No. You have to do a comb over on the set. You must be pretty wild. You don't know how to say goodbye, right? That's because you make me laugh. Say goodbye. No, no, don't say goodbye yet. <laughs> but when you do say goodbye, say goodbye right. Fine, I will. All right, we'll, we'll say some thoughts. Hurry up. We're running out of time want, here. Uh, I just want you to all to do us all a favor. Call Congress and tell them, please pass the health care bill. We really do need it. It's about it's life. It's about life, and it's also about your life also. Dang right. So please. Call 